let God speak to your heart as maybe you remember the, the messages you got about Him that said you got to measure up, you got to be good enough, you got to be strong enough. You need to fix your life and let Him speak to you as He says that He searches for you and when He finds you, there's rejoicing. Verse 10. You lost in the church. I want to tell you that God is looking for you. And maybe you've been living here for a while feeling a little bit empty. Feeling a little bit like there's a little bit more. God has been searching for you. He's not done. And that call that you hear that says take another step, come a little bit farther, that's Him pulling on you. Pulling you. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore it because he finds you that amazing and you're not going to find that kind of love anywhere else. I promise you. Nowhere else. In the same way, there is joy in the presence, this is verse 10, of God's angel when even one sinner repents. In the same way there's joy in the presence of God's angel when even one sinner repents. Now this is cool. Because the, not only God, but the angels, the angels of the universe, when you're found by God, throw a party. That's cool. You know what's even cooler than that? It's that it's not their responsibility. It's not their responsibility. See, angels are a totally different class of beings than we are. They're not God. They're servants of God. They do the mission of God. They observe us. They come alongside to help us and to dictate the mission of God. But their job is not to seek and to find the lost. That's not their job. Their job is to be the servants of God. And yet, there's rejoicing when someone comes to Christ. When Christ finds one. Yeah. Hebrews 1 verse 14 says, Therefore angels are only servants, spirits sent to care for people who will inherit, inherit salvation. They're sent as a messenger. They're sent as a servant. All right? Who has been given the mission of finding people who are lost? Whether they're out like the sheep or inside like, like the coin. Matthew chapter 28 verse 18. Matthew 28 18. Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Saying, go find people that are lost. Jesus says to his disciples and to us, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. That is the... the there is no time that Christ declares that much authority when he's on earth. That is him saying, I am CEO of the universe. I've been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Now, here's your job. Go and make disciples. Go find the lost people. I don't care if they're in the church or outside. My heart beats for them. Go and find them. That is the mandate that's given to you, not to angels. Now, that's crazy. Because angels got it together a whole lot more than I do. I mean, take a look around at the people around you. Some of them look pretty nice. They're messed up. Some of them look messed up, and they are. <laughs> take a look at yourself in a mirror real quick and just say, I'm messed up. You know, just, hey, just get it out. You'll feel better. All right? Without Jesus Christ, I'm messed up. Now, you've started a journey, man. You've been washed and cleaned by God. You are a new creation. Don't say that say the lie to you, okay? Well, let's be honest, we are being created and changed by God. We're not angels. But he didn't give this message and this mission to angels. He gave it to you and I. You and I have been called to go out and find the lost people. Amen. Amen. Your mandate is to go out and find the lost people. How do you do it? I'll tell you what, last week, 
Where else did we go? I'm blessed. The panel we have here. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? Amen. It's great because there were some people who simply said, wow, God is really powerful and He's changing people. Amen. You saw some people who, who stood up and took responsibility, didn't blame other people, said, you know what? I messed up. It was great because if we had a, some conversation about marriage, if you were, weren't here last week, and had some couples talking about marriage challenges. And even the ones that wouldn't be the you know, the bad one in the relationship, didn't make the big problem perhaps, stood up and said, no, I'm responsible for where my marriage is up. Amen. 